Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. And if you are here for the first time, may I request you to subscribe and I assure you, you will not be disappointed. I have been getting a lot of calls, a lot of people when they meet me or they write to me, there is one question they've always been asking. Tell us more about Manushi Chillar. Tell us what did you teach her? Tell us how long you taught her? Tell us what kind of a person she is? And so many questions. Though I had already made a video, but I'm still getting all those requests. So I thought once and for all, I'll make another video. I will tell you what kind of a person she is. And then we move on. Okay, so let me decode Manushi Chiller for you. Uh, Manushi, uh, when she came to me, she came to me with her mother in 2016, somewhere early 2016. And what I saw was a very simple girl dressed in a very simple top and jeans and with a ponytail. Uh, but what stuck me was the sparkle in her eyes. So she was absolutely adamant and focused that she has to train herself for Miss India. And she had come to me with the reference of Koyal Rana, uh, whom I had trained sometime in, in her pageantry. Uh, so she had referred her to me. And uh, so when I saw her, I knew that I have a winner at hand, but I wasn't sure how to go about it because she was studying in Sonipat. Uh, which is uh, almost an hour from Delhi and um, so I asked her how would you do it and she said she'll come over on weekends. Uh, can you imagine finishing your classes on Saturday, traveling all the way to Delhi, then coming for a class, then going home and then next afternoon again leaving with that one hour journey back to the college. Limited time. So she said, I will come to you on weekends. Uh, and we started our classes on weekends. And there were many weekends uh, which were skipped either because she had her exams or she had some family commitments or some other commitments. Uh, but it used to normally happen on weekends. So a two hour class on weekends. And uh, uh, what I want to tell you about when she started her journey is that she's very, very attached to her family. Uh, her parents have been a great, great support. In fact, her mom used to go with her everywhere, uh, you know, as a shadow. And uh, her mother's dream also was as big, you know, that she wanted to see her daughter as Miss India. Because... Uh, right from her childhood uh, she had this big dream so so as i said she's a very family oriented girl and she has a brother and a sister devangana uh, her parents are doctors and um, and because they are doctors and intelligent of course the kids are intelligent too so she's very well read uh, she loves reading and she was always trying to keep herself up to date with whatever is happening in this world. Uh, what should I tell you? Yeah, the next question which a lot of people ask me is what did I teach her? Well, I would say that I am her personality development teacher. I taught her body language and stage presence and stage fear and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not claiming that I'm the only one who made Manushi Chiller, but I do claim that I'm the first one with whom she started her journey. And when she started her journey, a lot of people uh, got to her on that journey. It became a huge chain and, and where she is today, millions and millions of people would be in that chain. I feel very, very proud that uh, when she didn't even know the ABC of pageantry, I was the first one to hold her hand. And I'm also very thankful to her for acknowledging this fact that I was the first one to hold her hand when she became Miss India and she went uh, Facebook Live 
from Miss India organization page. Duke. Uh, thank you, Rita, ma'am. I think you were the first person who to hold my hand when I started this journey. So, I'm super, super thankful to her for acknowledging me for that. Uh, what kind of a person she is? That's the next question a lot of people ask me. Uh, I would say she's very humble person and she's retained that humbleness till date because she believes in in making relationships she believes that she would never ever forget those people who have always been a part of her journey and she's always trying her best to maintain uh, a contact with each and every person uh, who has been a part of her journey um, she also believes that with the crown came a lot of responsibility because overnight she became famous and she also says that becoming famous was never her goal her goal was different uh, to become miss india to become miss world but she never ever thought she never ever realized that overnight you know people will start looking up to her will start admiring her and the whole world will know her uh, and she says that this has made her all the more humble because fame is a byproduct of what she was wanting to do in her life and you would always see wherever she is anybody will ask her for a picture or will want to talk to her she will very humbly speak and talk to them give the picture so she's not one of those people where ego goes to your head but she says that with the crown came a lot of responsibility uh, because a lot of people were looking up to her so she became uh, Miss World at the age of 20 but she had to behave like a 30 year old mature woman because that was expected of her so she had to think 100 times what to say where to say so it becomes you know it's once you become a celebrity at a young age uh, all of a sudden I think it's a big challenge it's a big big challenge and it happened with her but as I said, she's a learner. She has learned all the way. She's learned how to project the right image and, and say the right things because she knows a lot of eyes are on her and whatever she says uh, will be followed to the T. And there are a lot of youngsters who want to follow her path. So she's always there guiding them. Uh, during this uh, lockdown, uh, when she was home, she tried her very best to uh, use that time effectively because uh, when she was completing her journey as Miss World and doing her duties as Miss India and Miss World, uh, she hardly had time but now she had a lot of time at hand. So she loves playing drums so she plays drums and she reads books and she spends quality time with her parents. And of course, because she's now also doing a movie, I'm sure everybody knows about it, with Yash Raj films called Prithvi Raj and her debut um, actor with whom she's debuting is Akshay Kumar. Uh, it's a big project. So she, for almost six days, she has been rehearsing and grooming herself for that. And I think she's finished with her part of uh, shooting. And very soon we will be seeing her on the silver screen. And I just cannot wait. Um, uh, to see her on silver screen because I still remember seeing her on that first day she came to me to be where she is today now so it will be a proud moment for me to see her on screen a lot of people also asked that um, was that answer which she said um, rehearsed of course question and answers were done but that answer came straight to her from her heart because as I said that her mother has been her shadow and her mother's and her dream equally was to become Miss World and and when she saw her mother sitting in the audience she got emotional and then the answer came straight from her heart and a very true statement because we don't realize the value of our parents unfortunately um, and that is something we have to learn to value uh, our parents and their efforts on making who we are today. Well, I think uh, one of her biggest uh, winning factor is her simplicity because she believes in being who she is and she completely believes in her own self. And in her own words, she says, be confident and once you find your purpose in life, charge. So there are a lot of people who keep talking 
but they don't take charge but she's one person who will not just talk but she will plan and she will take action and implement it because there is a beautiful saying that some students come to you for sipping the education some students come to you for drinking the education and some students come to you for gargling the education so she is one person who who drinks the education so whatever she learns she implements it to the t and that is a great satisfaction i'm sure any and everyone who's trained her in whichever way would say that yes they truly truly believe that she does exactly what she's told to do and uh, and she shows the results in that and in her own words she also says that always have a meaning of your existence it doesn't matter when it comes to you so um, we are all here for for a purpose and you never know when that enlightenment comes to you what you are here for it could be now it could be in your midlife it could be later in life but whenever it comes to you just charge as she has said just go ahead and do it because that is what is going to give you the big satisfaction and make you who you are and never never ever let success go to your head uh, this is what she believes in and she's always stuck to her roots i would like to uh, recall some of the incidences uh, which have left an impact uh, with me her first day of course when she came to me the day she walked uh, with the shifali sood another beautiful soul uh, for my book launch <laughs> of your book it is a wonderful effort from your side and definitely it is going to help all the aspirants we all know how hard you have worked for this book and it will definitely be a huge success you are a wonderful friend and a great mentor and i am so excited for the launch i would highly recommend everyone who wants to polish their personalities to order right now all the best ma'am very simple girl uh and she walked for me at that time she was still preparing to be uh, to go in for miss india and maybe a pay even going for an audition i will never forget the day when she became miss india and she called me to be there at the airport to receive her i'll never forget when she came out of the airport door and when i gave her a bouquet she hugged and thanked me i'll never forget when she had her homecoming party i was the first one she called on the stage to thank i will never forget when she was leaving for miss india when she came to say bye to me i will never forget the beautiful gift she got me from singapore i will never forget when i met her after she became miss world so there are some beautiful moments i will cherish forever so i would like to thank you uh, manushi if you are watching this video for being who you are um, i would always thank you for acknowledging me for my role in 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 your journey um i would always always uh, regard uh, and and always look up to your parents who always been there for you and have set a great example to the world of what parents should be i may not be with you in body now or maybe later in life but my my blessings will always always be with you in spirit so may god bless you for who you are and i wish you all the very best in future may you find your dreams and for all those people who are watching this video i will try and put some 
pictures or some videos of some beautiful moments I've spent with her. I hope uh, this explains everything about Manushi and um, learn, learn from her. Learn about life, learn about moving ahead, learn about focus, learn about goal setting, learn about time management, learn about being humble, learn about gratitude. There are so many lessons you can learn from her. God bless you all and I'll meet you all very soon.